All right, folks, we are live. Hope you guys are excited for this game. Just give me one second here. And I can pull up my my chat on here so I can see what you guys are saying at all times. And we will get right into this thing. Number 20, Jacksonville at the number one Tennessee State Tigers. This is an SEC showdown and one of the best rivalries in this sport of STS football. This is the third time these teams have faced each other in the past two seasons. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Jacksonville just had a loss to Elkhorn State. They had two top flight receivers. The Braves did. And it was just too much for the Jacksonville secondary to handle. And of course, they didn't really get a whole lot of pressure on the quarterback of Alcorn State either. So let's go ahead and take a look at some stats real quick and see what's going on. Of course, it takes forever to load up these stats, but whatever. Let's get it. Hope you guys had a great Christmas. I know I was absent in the Discord and on YouTube altogether on Christmas Eve and yesterday. My wife came home Christmas Eve early, and we just spent, you know, the whole day together and everything, and it was all a good time. Kids had a great time as well. I got four kids, if you guys didn't know. Two boys, two girls, and it was a great time, and I hope you guys had a great time as well. And here are the Tennessee State Tigers numbers. Look at these numbers for this quarterback, Brian James. 2,077 yards, 17 touchdowns, one pick. Now let's see if he is a pocket passer. He's a Juco transfer. 88 speed. So this is going to be <laughs> really rough trying to contain him. 92 acceleration, 95 throw power, 78 accuracy. And the running back is a true freshman, Jonathan Goss. 755 yards, nine touchdowns. And this, this is kind of scary a little bit. A couple freshmen here as well, Trenton Hargrove and Joel Parquette. 820 yards for Parquette, 746 for Hargrove. Lots of touchdowns here. They have a lot of young freshmen here that start for the Tigers. Little Saltine asks, what do I play on? Do you mean the difficulty setting or what system? I play on the PS2 and it is on Heisman difficulty. It looks like their offensive line might have a hard time blocking us here for Jacksonville. We've got several offensive or several defensive linemen that are quite capable of breaking through an offensive line for the Dolphins. A couple players with three picks. Look at all these players. They're all true freshmen studs. There's another one. They're right outside linebacker. Leads the team in deflections with ten. A lot of players have one forced fumble. A couple have two recovered. No defensive touchdowns, though, and the kicker is 10 of 14. No kick returns for touchdowns, and no punt returns for touchdowns. Take a quick look at their schedule so far this season, and then we will get right into the action. I know you guys are just chomping at the bit right now, ready for this game. All right, so they beat Idaho State in their first game. They beat James Madison by a touchdown. Look at these close games right here. One by ten, one by three, and another one by three. My goodness, they did destroy Alabama State, however, 66 to 23. Then they had two consecutive bye weeks. They beat Alabama A&M. They just beat Southern by a field goal. So they definitely have some weaknesses, and we are going to try to ex you know exploit those weaknesses as best as we can. There are the ratings once again: a C plus overall for Tennessee State, a B. For Jacksonville, the passing offense is 68th in the country for Jacksonville. Pass defense is 66th. Those are the weaknesses for this school. And it looks like Tennessee State is pretty well balanced throughout. Uh, they do have a hard time running the football, though. 40th in the nation, 119 yards per game. But the passing attack is what really concerns me. But let's get it, folks. Yeah, the NCAA 06 
comes with 79 FCS schools in it, and then I created 12 more. Well, really, I created like 48 more, and we had a couple tournaments leading up to this um, series. And we have 12 in here, so we have 91 FCS schools in this series. Let's get it. Number 20, Jacksonville. Number 1, Tennessee State. Jacksonville needs this win desperately. They cannot afford another conference loss. They are already, I believe, in second in their division. So another loss, they probably won't end up in the SEC title game, which would definitely be a rematch versus the Tennessee State Tigers, just like last season was. And we're getting the ball first. You know we got to get the ball in the hands of Mr. Highlight. Let's go, J.U. Deshaun Harris on the return to start things off. And a decent return up to the 21-yard line. And we're going to start it off with, let's see, wide receiver under. This team is stacked for offense on talent. A lot of playmakers. Michael Hines at quarterback. Jukes McGee at halfback. Right now, Mr. Highlight is in the backfield. He can also run the football quite well. And Christian Hart right there, the big tight end, makes a nice catch to start things off to the 38-yard line. His first of the game. Rest of the offense, they have a four-star freshman quarterback backing up Michael Hines, and that is Nolan Connor. And we're going to go with the quarterback draw here with Hines. Tyler Matthews at fullback for the Dolphins. Mr. Highlight, Jermaine Marshall, and Deshaun Harris at receiver. And the tight end, Christian Hart, who we just saw right there. Quarterback draw, and we pick up five or six yards. Trying to pull up the stats here on Discord. Let's go with a halfback dive to get Jukes McGee involved early in the game as well. Michael Hines enters this game with 559 yards rushing on the season. He's having a great year on the ground. He's also doing quite well throwing the football. Here's a nice run from Jukes McGee. Hines currently fourth out of all our subscriber quarterbacks in passing yards with 1,573, and second in touchdowns with 21. He also adds eight rushing touchdowns on the season as well. And here's a nice run from Jukes McGee, and he gets absolutely just lasered. Oh, my goodness. Oof, that looked rough. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Lucky seven, that's Marvin Joseph, the head coach of the very same Jacksonville Dolphins team on the field right now. And highlight with a nice catch inside the 20-yard line. Chaos Driven, shout out to him, my brother. Robbie Ballard in the chat. Rashad Farrell. Tyler Rocky, Little Saltine. Uh, Mr. Dr. Professor Antoine, the man that keeps leaving the Discord community and rejoining. Can't make up his mind. Shout out to you. And Tom Schaefer in the chat. Let's try to get Mr. Highlight the football. Ah, uh, maybe not. Oh, that was rough. That was going to be a loss either way. All right. Trying to recruit another good halfback? Yeah, I'm really trying for you, Marvin. I, I really am, bud. It has been such a struggle recruiting for all the schools this season. But we do have a few for several schools. I'm working on it. I promise. Up to 12 viewers now on the video. All right. See if we can get highlight on the post. Oh, 
we got it. Touchdown. Highlight. Let's go. Michael Hines with his 22nd touchdown pass of the season. And that is Highlight's 15th touchdown catch. Just over the outstretched hand of the middle linebacker. Beautiful throw. That's called threading the needle, folks. The Dolphins take the early lead over the number one Tennessee State Tigers. Quasi Sands, Juco transfer kicker on for the extra point. It is up and good for the Dolphins. It's 7 0. After an 8 play 78 yard drive, took 208 or 206 off the clock, actually. And now we get to see what the Tigers can do on offense against this struggling secondary. Shout out in the chat, Nate Diaz. Says highlight is looking nice. Yes, he is. Top five receiver in the country. And there's a 15 yard face mask on the freshman linebacker, Devin Rambo, number 41. Defense for Jacksonville, the defensive front. We've got three defensive ends Parker Palmer, five star freshman, and two four star freshmen. Uh, Frank Frazier, hold on, folks. Oh my, Devin Rambo is the fastest player on this defense and he can't get him. Touchdown just like that. James takes off to the house. He says, I can do it better than Michael Hines. Oh my goodness, we're going to have to run a quarterback spy all game long. Man, oh man. Anyways, the rest of that defense that just got burnt like toast. Uh, two linebackers, Zane Williams, sophomore outside linebacker, and four-star freshman middle linebacker Devin Rambo. One corner, Allen Davidson, free safety Malik Bean, and strong safety Marcus Pedersen, who had 99 tackles last season. So that first drive did not go did not go quite well at all for the Dolphins. That is slightly depressing. Definitely going to run a spy next drive. My goodness. And he's highlight on the return up to the 20-yard line. Highlight, of course, extremely dangerous on returns. He's got three kick returns, or three punt returns for touchdowns this season and one punt return. So he definitely knows how to get into the end zone. So 20 total touchdowns for him on the season, I believe, now. Let's see if we can get him some more. We got one-on-one -on -one coverage. Going deep, highlight, and he can't get it. Nice deflection by number two. My goodness, that could have been so amazing right there. And we'll try to get it on the ground here. Let's give it off to the fullback, Tyler Matthews. And welcome, Nate Diaz, to the Discord community. Appreciate you joining, buddy. And Tyler Matthews in the open field. The fullback can rumble. All the way to the 42-yard line. Nice run for the fullback. My goodness. I believe he had 10 rushing touchdowns last season. I could be wrong. I don't have this uh, season stats in front of me from last year. All right, maybe Jermaine Marshall wants to get in on the action. And that was, oh, just overthrown to Jermaine Marshall. Hines kind of backpedaled a little bit too much there. Yeah, let's see here. Half back corner, let's get it. And they bring pressure immediately. I'm going to have to take off here with Hines, but they're too quick for him. Not often do you see Hines get chased down right there. My goodness. That was a fast linebacker. I thought that was third down, too. Luckily, we get some more plays here. We got Jermaine Marshall open, but he doesn't get there. 
I hate those short routes because it takes forever to the for the receiver to actually take off after the catch. And we're going to go for it here at the 50-yard line. And we get the first down off sides. I like it. Is Ryan Richardson on Jacksonville's D-line? <laughs> yes, he is, sir. You forgot what team you were on. I like it. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's go half back off tackle, get Jukes McGee involved in the offense. And this might go terribly. Let's get hard over to the left side. Need a little bit of extra blocking here. Jacksonville doesn't have any subscriber offensive linemen. And McGee is going to be swarmed by the nasty Tigers defense. Man, oh man, they are fast. I'm going to go play action read. I like to hit highlight out of the backfield on this play. And he is not open. But Marshall is, and we get it out to him. And tries the back juke up to the 23-yard line. First down, Dolphins. It's a very hostile environment. I believe the game says that they have like a 66,000 capacity stadium, and yet they still have this tiny thing in here. They just never gave them their actual stadium, I guess. But it sure sounds like it's pretty loud. Look at the stadium pulse. Let's try to hit McGee on that corner. Hines hit as he throws it. Can he get there? McGee dives for the touchdown. What a catch by the halfback out of the backfield. Hines gets his 23rd touchdown pass of the season, second today. Wow. What a catch. McGee's second touchdown catch on the season. My goodness. That was awesome. Yeah, let's get a uh, thumbnail quick, shall we? Oh, it's going to be a beautiful thumbnail. Beautiful. I love it. All right, there we go. All right, let's get back to the game. Quasi Sands on for the extra point. Man, oh man, what a catch that was. And just like that, the Dolphins take the 14-7 lead. Now, let's see if we can hold their offense to, I don't know, maybe more than a one-play drive. That would just be astounding. Definitely going to have to run a quarterback spy for the rest of the game. This quarterback is faster than everyone on the Dolphins' defense. That might be a bad kick. No, that was awesome. Love it. Let's go, defense. So I sip on my apple cider. All right. Quarterback spy. Let's get it. There's Ryan Richardson right there. Playing some defensive tackle this play. All right. Let's go defense. And we're not starting off great. Parquet with a nice catch. Quarterback had a 70-yard touchdown run on that drive. That was that's amazing. And they're gonna go play action. And they almost make a nice diving catch as well. Very close. If we can just contain this quarterback, I think we'll be all right. Of course, I got caught, but I catch a break right there. My goodness. Got caught on my own player over there. Let's go nickel. And double linebacker spy. Keep as many bodies on him as possible. They are third in the nation on third down conversions. 56% on the season. And a nice hit on the quarterback. And I believe that was Zach Allen who made the play. And we get a nice stop. Jacksonville with a chance. 
to take a two-score lead over the number one ranked Tennessee State Tigers. And Highlight going to return this one inside his own 10-yard line. Jukes a man out and is taken down at the 15. Look at his numbers. 18 yards per punt return. That is pretty schnazzy. All right, let's go speed option. And they are not running man coverage. Nice hit on the quarterback, Jukes McGee. Jukes a man out and gets leveled at the 36-yard line. First down, Dolphins, though. Great run. Now up to 14 viewers on the stream. Shout out to each and every one of you. Appreciate all of you guys. And girls, if there's any watching. About 3% of my viewers are girls, so... Shout out to all those beautiful ladies. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Matthew's wide open. Let's go fullback. Let's go fullback. And he got rocked. Oh, my goodness. Hines, 7 of 9, 105 yards, two touchdowns, no picks so far today. Pretty good numbers for him. And we are not going to toss it out to the fullback like that again. That was rough. He's not really known for, uh, for catching too many passes. But he can run the football. And he's got the first down with a big bruising run up that gap. Man, oh man. Uh-oh. Immediate pressure. Christian Hart is open, though, and he's got it. Down to the 21-yard line. Let's go, Dolphins. Hines is playing lights out right now. Laser focus. And that's the end of the first quarter. Dolphins on top of the number one Tennessee State Tigers, 14-7. to And we're going to go with speed option here with highlight in the backfield. No matter what we do, we got to get the ball into his hands. And there is Hines, pitches it out, and there's highlight for the score. Dolphins take the two-touchdown lead. And that's why we put him everywhere on the field. Uh, last season, the Tigers beat the Dolphins in the regular season. And the Dolphins got revenge in the SEC Championship game. Hopefully, uh, if the Dolphins win here today, the opposite does not happen. Now up to 16 viewers on the stream. Welcome, if you're new. Don't forget to slap that like button. Slap it like a Christmas ham. What's up? I don't know. I'm just making stuff up now. And Parkett kneels it down in the end zone. And let's continue to do quarterback spy. Because I am I am afraid. I, I am afraid of this quarterback right now. my blitz here on my blitz got him let's go Pedersen let's go baby can't be stopped don't even matter what's up see how many sacks he's got on the year and that was his second sack of the season not sure how many he had last year quite a few uh oh uh oh Get that, Malik. Malik Bean on the pick, baby. Let's go. That's his fourth this season. Let's go, Dolphins. 
Yo, it's about to be a route. Let's get it. We're going to put up 50 in the first half. No, nah, I'm just playing. But we're going to put up 50 for sure. Whew. Man, the adrenaline is pumping, baby. Let's go, Jukes. Let's go, Jukes. Use that speed, baby. Let's go. Let's go. And a stiff arm. Showing some strength out here. They're putting all their focus on the passing attack. And they're forgetting about a very good halfback. And I'm okay with it. Let's go play action, but rolling out to the left. It could be weird, but let's try it. Defensive tackle is on fire. And we're just going to throw that quickly to Tyler Matthews. And there's clipping. Sick. All right, first and 17 after that. Awesome. We'll go halfback angle. See if we can't get a nice little corner route again. This time from highlight instead of the halfback. Let's go, baby. Who wants it? Oh, oh, my goodness. Uh oh. Oh, my. Well, with that injury, we're about to see four star freshman quarterback Nolan Connor take the field. He is younger brother of Cal Poly Mustangs quarterback Alexander Connor. And you know what? I'm feeling froggy. I'm going to throw it first play. Let's go. I am not afraid. Let's go, Nolan. Show him what you got, buddy. Who's open? Jukes McGee. Jukes McGee. Oh, he overthrew him by a step. Man, oh, man. Kind of rolling to the left for the life of him. Oh, my. So much pressure. Okay. Tight end cross. Let's get it. Man, Bean or uh, Jukes McGee had a step on him right there. That was rough. Uh oh. And highlight comes away with it. No way. Touchdown, Dolphins. Let's go, Ju. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mr. Highlight. <laughs> with a highlight of his own my goodness three defenders just fall flat on their faces and he reaches the pylon Nolan Connor with the touchdown throws an accurate pass after getting demolished by several defenders what a play by the freshman quarterback shout out to Ashley Jackson in the chat hope you had a great Christmas happy holidays Whew. 28 to 7 here in the second. That was an absolutely insane touchdown by Mr. Highlight. Man, oh man. I'm still sweating bullets, though. That quarterback they got is nasty. So nasty. All right, they got four receivers. Whew. A little bit of man coverage. Hopefully no one gets beat. Uh-oh. Oh, nice play by the non-subscriber corner. Okay. That was that was that almost scared me a little bit right there. I'm not gonna lie to you. Michael Hines is out for four weeks, so they're gonna have to rely on Nolan Connor for the remainder of the regular season. Oh man. And hopefully in a moment we'll see what head coach Marvin Joseph Joseph has to say about that. 
We'll get a word from him at halftime. Let's go, Pedersen. Let's go, baby. Nope. Block the line. Single coverage over there. Tackle him. Thank you. Malik Bean with a nice tackle. Oh, man. I cannot believe that Hines is out for the rest of the regular season. Oh, it's picked off by the non-subscriber middle linebacker, Walters. Woo! Oh, man. Defense came to play. Okay, okay. Let's go with a slot reverse. Let's get it. Jermaine Marshall. I'm feeling it. Maybe not. Maybe not. Could be bad. Okay, Marshall got it back to uh, negative four yards. All right, they got too much speed for that. Let's go angle. Let's get it. Let's test out Connor's arm here. Highlights on fire. Connor, deep shot. Highlights got a step. Oh, and a nice deflection by number 32. Man, oh, man. It was worth a shot. No regrets. No regrets. All right, let's see what we got here. Highlight in the backfield. And Hart is open, and we get it out to him, but he is short. And we might be in Quasi Sands territory. We are. If he misses, it's my fault. It's the thumbs. Please don't blame him. Okay, I might have made it. I, I might have made it. Oh, definitely made that. He could have made that from 60. My goodness. It's 31-7 here in the second quarter. Dolphins cruising right now against the number one team in the land. Please bounce into the end zone. Thank you very much. Let's go, J.U. All right, we'll go back to the 4-3. Pedersen on a slot receiver. That's a mismatch. Hope I don't get beat. Okay, he's going to the flats. Oh, and I couldn't deflect it. He missed it anyway. I really want to blitz, but there's really, there's not many plays where there's a quarterback spot, uh, quarterback spot that you can blitz, you know? I think there might be one or two plays in the entire playbook like that. What you got, James? You ain't done anything since the first play of the game. And a nice deflection by a non-subscriber corner. Spy gold. Tight end is mine. If he stays home, I might blitz. Because I'm a risk taker. That's what I do. And I misplayed that one just a little bit. He got to the inside. I zigged when I should have zagged. And they get the first down. That's unfortunate. Need to get some pressure on this quarterback. Uh-oh. And he overthrows his target. That could have been a big play for the Tigers. One that they desperately need. Tigers with just four first downs in the ballgame. Jacksonville with 14 today. And he gets sacked. I don't know who got the credit for that. Marvin Joseph, happy on the sideline. Let's see who gets the credit. And that is going to be number 93, a non-subscriber defensive tackle. Ogletree, I believe, is his name. And we're going back to the man coverage. And a nice deflection by me. That's right. What's up? User skills. Get him. 
That'll bring up fourth down. Dolphins still rolling. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. All right, I'll stop. I'll show myself out. Highlight on the return. He's got three punt returns for touchdowns this season, and he won't get one here, or will he? Oh, my. Breaking tackles, and there's a clipping call. A few penalties here today for the Dolphins. It's going to back us up to the 20-yard line. Highlight is exhausted on the play. Let's give it off to Jukes McGee on an ISO. And a nice hole up the middle. McGee picks up 13 yards. There's a look at his numbers this season. He hasn't had a lot of carries, but he's had a lot of big runs. And that is due to having so many talented wide receivers for this offense to get the ball to. They kind of forget about McGee, and that's really how he makes them pay. Defensive tackles on fire again. And immediate pressure. Highlight wide open. And he's got the first down and more up to the 41-yard line. Connor with another dime. So look at his numbers for this season. 9 of 16, 135 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. Not a bad start for their young freshman. And throw it up to highlight again. Why not? He's open. Nine-yard reception. And we got to be very careful with Connor. We don't want him to take too many hits here because there is not a quality backup behind Connor. This is the play that McGee scored a touchdown on before. And Connor is hit, and this pass is overthrown, intended for McGee. And let's give it up to the big guy, Tyler Matthews, the fullback. If we don't get it, we're in field goal range. And Matthews stuck at the line, and he didn't get it. So we're going to see another Jacksonville field goal here. Sure, head coach Marvin Joseph doesn't want to miss out on any points. Kick is up and right down the middle. It's 34 to 7. Tigers struggling. They've had one big play, 70 yard touchdown run by the quarterback, and they haven't done anything since. Nice little return by Parquet. I'm still nervous, even up by 27 points. You saw how the Cal Poly game went. That game was extremely close throughout. So anybody can win at any given time. I'm not going to take anybody lightly, even with, you know, a four-touchdown lead. I'm just not going to do it. But that is going to be the end of the first half. It's 34-7, to number 20 Jacksonville on top of the number one Tennessee State Tigers in the Tigers Stadium. Head coach Marvin Joseph says, next man up mentality as always. He thinks they'll be good in good hands with Connor until Hines returns. And I, I think... That they will be as well. Connor has proven that he's pretty capable with the limited amount of snaps that he's had. And I think he'll do just fine for this offense going forward for the rest of the regular season. Two turnovers for the Tigers. They got more than half of their yards on one play. Man, 
and open on the right. And a huge hit from Marcus Pedersen. Let's go, baby. Dolphins controlling the clock so far today over nine minutes. Tennessee State just three minutes on offense. Back up to 14 viewers in the chat. Appreciate you guys. And that's one-on-one -on -one coverage. Allen Davidson got beat, and it's a dropped pass. Davidson gets lucky on that one. Man, oh, man. That was rough. Not often do you see Allen Davidson get beat like that. He is my top-rated defensive back in the EFL prospect pool. And Pedersen with a missed tackle. You don't see that very often either. Allen Davidson cleans the play up. His fourth tackle today. I'm going to put some pressure on the quarterback here with Pedersen. And we can't get there, but he overthrows his target out of bounds. And the Dolphins get another stop here on defense. Billings on for the punt, and that is a good one inside the 20-yard line down to the 17, and that's where the Dolphins will start this drive. Halfback slam, one of my favorite runs in the game. Switch it to the left. Let's get it, and that didn't work out so well. Loss of one yard for Jukes McGee. Try to hit Connor on this or uh, Hart on this corner route here. Connor deep shot right side and Hart with a nice diving reception, and that's his fourth today for 79 yards. Highlight as five for 100, and that was. Very similar to the touchdown catch by Jukes McGee. Great catch by the tight end. I feel like we should keep putting pressure on him here, just keep throwing it at him. It's been working out you know, pretty well so far this game. And highlight open again. He's got his sixth catch today. Wide open. Look at the numbers. Over 209 yards today. And three touchdowns overall. This game has been so fun so far. Who we got? Who we got? Harris is open, and he's got it at the 12-yard line. Connor throwing darts out here. I believe that was Harris's first catch today as he gets in on the action. Let's see what we can do here with play action. Nope. Nobody's open yet, and Connor just takes off, tries to get out of bounds without the hit. Picks up a couple. Let's go with the ISO. Mr. Highlight may get into double digits on catches. Yeah, he might. We don't see that very often. In this dynasty, and Jukes McGee gets the first down and goal, but there's a flag for clipping again. On Christian Hart this time. That'll back him up to the 22-yard line. Shooting themselves in the foot there. Second down and 21 now. Crowd going insane. And he goes to the end zone, and Highlight has another. His fourth touchdown today. 
third receiving. He's got 17 touchdown catches this year. What a beautiful throw from Nolan Connor, the freshman. Just picking up where Hines left off, just shredding the secondary of Tennessee State. Shout out to a new subscriber, Dominic the Beast. Appreciate your subscription there, sir. It's now 41 to 7, number one Tennessee State. Getting wrecked, son. Everything has gone right today for the Dolphins, minus one long touchdown run by the Tigers quarterback. And he hasn't done anything since with his legs. Just very surprised. I know we have a quarterback spy, but even with a quarterback spy, he's got so much more speed than everybody else on this defense. He could definitely make more big plays than what he's doing. Michael Vick was spied his whole career, you know. <laughs> he still got runs. Oh my goodness, Malik Bean with his second pick today. My goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. Not a good throw. Overthrew him big time. And Bean has his second. I told you guys we're putting up a 50 burger today. I mean, I, I might have said that it was going to be in the first half, but I was just playing. All right. Not a good throw. <laughs> man, oh, man. All right, let's see what we can do here. Connor, what you got, buddy? Connor got sacked. Big time loss that time by Sanchez. His second sack today. A loss of 10. Go, Connor. Let's see what you're made of, buddy. And highlight with another one up to the 36 yard line. Just keep feeding the beast. Man, oh man. Uh-oh. Not good. Not good. Connor, drop after one yard. Looks like we're going to see our first punt today from the Dolphins. Freshman punter Dalton Hayes on for the punt. Nice stop by the Tigers. And that was not a good kick by me. Oh, my. Ah, oh, terrible. I knew the kicking meter would get me at least once this game. I knew it. It usually happens on extra points. And I still make them. That was rough. Gives the Tigers a little bit of momentum here on this drive. And man, wide open. That's Hall. He only picks up maybe two yards. Devin Rambo on the tackle. Let's a look at the quarterback stats. Brian James, 5 of 18. 64 yards passing, three picks. He has more rushing yards than he has passing. And I want to blitz so badly, but I don't want to leave a wide open side of the field for this quarterback, so I'm not going to. Just going to keep doing what's working. And there's a nice run by Goss. Breaking tackles. And gets it inside the 35-yard line. Forgive me, Marvin, for that punt. Forgive me. I'm blitzing with Pedersen. Let's go. Let's get it. And we got another sack. Let's go, Marcus. Second today for Marcus Pedersen, the strong safety. Loss of six on the play. That was too easy. I'm still nervous, even though we're up by 34. I've seen crazier comebacks. I've done crazier comebacks. And a nice play. There's Allen Davidson. 
Number one rated defensive back in the EFL prospect pool out there making a nice deflection. I might blitz again here. I uh, know I'm not. Halfback's going to go out this way. And another nice play by Allen Davidson, the All-American. Showing him how it's done out there. Fourth and 16 on our 38. I'm going to go with a safe return here. I don't know if they're actually going to punt this. But we'll see here soon enough. And they're going to punt it from their own 38-yard line. Get away from it. All right, touchback. So a net average of 18 yards on the punt. Yeah, we're going to try to get this ground game working again with a halfback ISO. And I spin my McGee, and he's got five yards up the gut. And Christian Hart is on fire. I I gotta I gotta throw it to him. It's against my religion not to. And there he is. Oh, and he drops it when he's in the zone. What? <laughs> Unreal. Way to just stop the clock on us, bud. That's unacceptable. You fired. All right, no, you're not. I kid. I kid. Oh, and we didn't get a block that we needed. Highlight had the whole left side of the field. Another nice stop for the Tennessee State Tigers. Let's see if I can actually punt this one more than 10 yards downfield. With a freshman punter that has like a 90 plus kick power. There we go. Much better. Much better. Might have just outkicked my coverage here. Uh-oh. Oh, what a hit! Oh my goodness! Who forced that? Who did it? Who decapitated this man? Oh, Zane Williams. Oh my. And Jermaine Marshall on the return. Zane, you didn't have to do him like that, buddy. Man, oh man! Shout out to Regear Productions in the chat. Coming to watch Tennessee State get their butt whooped. Let's go, McGee. Get a nice block out there. 13-yard carry. And that is going to be the end of the third quarter, folks. Jacksonville. Looking like they're on their way to a huge upset victory over the number one ranked Tennessee State Tigers. Get your fours up, folks. Put them up in the chat. Let's get this dub. Let's finish this thing. And go home. Get on that bus with a win. Turnover chain. Oh, my goodness. Don't start, Marvin. Don't start. Shout out to the Miami Hurricanes for having the worst season of all time. You guys were awful this year. Zero points against Louisiana Tech. Should have just stayed home. Demetrius George in the chat. How you doing, buddy? Hope you had a good Christmas. Uh-oh. 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 Highlight wide open inside the five-yard line. First down. He's got nine today for 167 yards. Whew. Man, it was wide open. Only 21 yards after the catch, though. It's been a lot of really good passes today. And we did not get the touchdown run on the ground with him. The turnover pimp cup. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't really know what to say to that, Marvin. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do here. Who's open? Tyler Matthews. Oh, why'd you jump for it? Oh, my goodness. He definitely should have had a touchdown right there. All right. 
Now, what are we going to do here? Two of seven today on third downs. Not a pretty number, to say the least. High snap for Connor. He's going to have to take off. Connor, can he get there? No, he can't. Down at the two-yard line. Valiant effort by the freshman. And we're just going to kick the field goal here. And Quasi Sands kick is up and good. His third field goal today. And I might have kicked that one out of bounds. Oh man, I'm having a rough time with Dalton Hayes right now. I probably shouldn't have been itching my head at the time of that kick. Can't wait to see what the top 10 will look like after this. Yeah, the top 10 is definitely going to have a big shakeup, I think. Should be fun. We might see Cal Poly drop down or maybe stay at number two, have somebody else take the number one spot after almost losing to Sacramento State. It was a rough game, guys. I really just want to blitz all game with Pedersen, but I'm not going to. Nice play by Walters. Brian James, 5 of 21 today. Getting outplayed by a backup quarterback. Crowd not really happy right now. Get him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Goss is gone. Touchdown, Tigers. After 37 straight points from the Dolphins, Tigers finally get back on the board with a big-time run of 60-plus yards by their freshman halfback, Goss. And there's still time for the 50-burger, folks. Let's get it. But the good news here for the Jacksonville defense is the passing defense has been absolutely phenomenal here today against one of the best passing offenses in the country. James just having a real rough time completing any passes downfield. And they go for the onside kick. It's recovered by Dorsey. Not to be mistaken for... The great Ken Dorsey for the Miami Hurricanes. That's that's the last time the Hurricanes were good at football. Early 2000s. Makes me sad. I cry at night. And nice blocking downfield. McGee with a juke, or a stiff arm actually. And gets it up to the 27-yard line. Most of his runs are just 20-plus yard runs like this. Because when you have a quarterback like Michael Hines or Nolan Connor, you know, they're going to get you... At least 10 yards downfield. And the running back really doesn't have to do that much more work to get the rest of those yards. Don't you worry, Marvin. I'm about to get that 50 burger right here, buddy. You might hit heart on this corner. And we're going to get sacked again. My goodness. They blitzed. I don't even know how many people that was. William and Mary struggling with Southern Illinois right now. That could be big news. For the Savannah State Tigers and the Bryant Bulldogs in the ACC. If the Tribe fall. Who wants it? What about Highlight? He's open again. Tenth catch, baby. Let's go. And a spin move down to the 12. Ten catches for Mr. Highlight. Who is also a Miami Hurricanes fan. So, you know, go flood his page. Tell him how bad they suck. Because we're both just in misery right now. But anyways, though, uh, Mr. Highlight now with 41 receptions on the season. I'm just going to keep throwing it. It's been working. And Marshall's open. Jukes. And picks up maybe four yards. Now let's see here. 
second and seven from the nine. I'm pretty sure I just ran this play, but I'm going to go with it again. Who wants it? Highlight. Wide open. Touchdown, Dolphins. There it is. The 50 burger. Let's go, baby. I believe that is Highlight's fourth touchdown catch of the ball game. Gives him 18 on the season. On 42 receptions. Bonkers kind of numbers right there. I believe that's Connor's third touchdown pass in relief of Michael Hines. And Jacksonville cruising to a win over number one right now. Monumental upset. And another conference win for the Dolphins. I believe improves their record to 4-1 and one in the SEC this season. And I kept this kick in bounds. I'm so proud of myself. Let's get it. Maybe I can get a tackle here with highlight. Eh. Knelt down on the end zone. Look at the time of possession. Tennessee State just can't stay on offense. Double quarterback spy. Okay. Okay. Stay tuned for our second game, folks. Going to be having San Diego at Portland State as the Vikings look to keep their season alive. Here's a nice reception by Hall. Davidson getting beat. Only 77 yards passing today for the Tigers offense. San Diego Toreros, 2-6 and six on the season. They cannot lose again if they want to get to a bowl game. Oh, this is going to be a halfback pass. I'm doing it. Oh, they got me. Uh-oh, that's not good. Not good. Good tackle. I think they took Brian James out, actually. If that was James, he probably would have took that to the house with his 88 speed. Instead, he got caught by a linebacker. And getting some pressure on the quarterback. And Allen Davidson with the pick at the 26-yard line. Let's go, baby. Davidson with his fourth pick of the season. Second on the team behind Malik Bean, who now has five on the year to this game. A little bit of toe-drag swag there. Didn't need it, but I like it. I like the effort. And the fullback caught at the line of scrimmage. Somehow breaks free. Picks up five yards. Yeah, I'd, I'd put the backups in for the Dolphins, but then the Tigers might come back and win. So we're not doing that. <laughs> Just run this clock out of here. Try to get out of here with no injuries. No no more injuries. Whee! Oh, what a spin move. Jukes McGee in the open field. He might be gone. And Jukes McGee is dragged down at the five-yard line. What a run. Jukes McGee going off today. Holy mother of pearl, what happened, says Chaos Driven. Well, I mean, you, you left for, like, most of the game. So, a lot of things happened. Including that run right there. I believe he's got over 200 yards rushing today. I could be wrong on that. What do you say we score again? Let's get it. La 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 la. See when I'm blowing teams out, you guys get to hear my singing voice. What's up? And Jukes McGee punches it in again. Touchdown, Dolphins. About to be 58 14. And we are seeing some more fans leave the stands. 
You had to go watch your shows? Okay, well, you can stick around for the second stream tonight. The San Diego Toreros look to keep their season alive against Pac-10 foe Portland State. The Toreros, 2-6 on the year, cannot afford to lose another game. 58-14 here. Number one, Tennessee State getting absolutely massacred in their own stadium. The, the 20th ranked Jacksonville Dolphins in SEC play. And I really hope to see a rematch in the SEC championship game. It's going to end up being a great one. There's another forced fumble. Devin Rambo forced it and recovered. Quick, Marvin Joseph, do you want me to kick a field goal? Do you want me to kick one? we got to save that red zone percentage, buddy. Let me know quickly. I appreciate you. Tyler Matthews falls forward, picks up a yard on the play. And my chair cracked because I'm a fatty, so what's up? I'm still waiting. Does he want me to kick a field goal? I'm going to call a timeout anyway. Oof. You got lucky, Marvin. <laughs> I saw your comment right as the clock ticked to one. Thirty-two yard field goal for the sixty burger. Quasi Sands kick is up and it is good. Sixty-one to fourteen is the final. Tigers. Get pimp slapped. And Jacksonville gets the cruise on home. My goodness. That game looked like it was going to be insane at the start with that 70-yard touchdown run by their quarterback. And as soon as we put on the quarterback spy, they had no answer for that defense. And they could not stop Mr. Highlight to save their lives. Even injuring Michael Hines in the process. Nolan Connor comes in and just plays lights out. And I believe throws for over 200 yards and three touchdowns in relief of the injured Michael Hines, who was out for three more games after this. But just utter domination tonight, Marvin Joseph says. Absolutely, buddy. I think we punted, what, one time? Twice. I think we punted twice. Let's take a look at these stats. Over 600 yards of offense for the Dolphins. Only 232 for Tennessee State. One of the best offenses in the country. 2 of 8 on third down for Jacksonville. Perfect in the red zone with that field goal there at the end. One fumble. They did not lose it. Six takeaways for the Jacksonville defense and special teams. 686 total yards. Look at the time of possession. That is the key stat right there. A lot of really quick three and outs forced by the Dolphins defense. And this game was over technically in the second quarter. Look at all those points. Scored right in a row. Quasi Sands makes four field goals today, I believe. Yep, four field goals. And Connor does throw for over 200 yards. Three touchdowns today. Five touchdowns combined for our quarterbacks. And 360 yards passing. And let's see. 22 of 28 passing altogether. My goodness. Sacked a few times. Nothing too crazy, though. And Jukes McGee is now 11 yards shy of 1,000 yards rushing this season. Highlight with a touchdown run as well. Fumble for Tyler Matthews. 11 catches for Highlight. 196 yards. Four touchdowns. Four. And there's Jukes McGee. Has one catch today. 23-yard touchdown. Just a miraculous catch as he laid out for it. Christian Hart had the only drop today. Devin Rambo, the freshman middle linebacker, led the team in tackles with six. I had three with Marcus Pedersen. Two for a loss, two sacks. Not bad for a strong safety. 
And Parker Palmer, the freshman defensive end who was talking some smack to me in the Discord, had zero stats today. Like I said, just get some pressure on the quarterback. And, you know, there might not be so many passing yards. But luckily for us, the quarterback just did not have the accuracy today for the Tigers. Lots of deflections as well. A couple forced fumbles. A couple recovered. And no defensive touchdowns. Sands 4-4 today along with 51. 7 of 7 extra points. And Dalton Hayes, 10 kickoffs, uh, 6 touchbacks for today. And not so great with the punts. I mean, the one was... 14 yards. Atrocious. Well, that is it for the stats. That's it for this game, folks. But we have another game coming up right after this. It's going to be the San Diego Toreros. Traveling to take on the Portland State Vikings in Pac-10 action. So stick around. I will be back to start that stream in about 10 minutes, guys. But... Until then, take it easy for those 10 minutes. I appreciate you all.